Hello, my name is Elder Alcantara, and I will be doing my documentary on sickle cell anemia. Sickle cell anemia is the most common form of sickle cell disease. Sickle cell disease is a disorder in which the body makes sickle-shaped red blood cells. They are called sickle-shaped because the red blood cells are shaped like a sickle or a crescent. Normal red blood cells are dick-shaped and look like donuts without holes in the center. Red blood cells contain an iron-rich protein called hemoglobin. This protein carries oxygen from the lungs to the rest of the body. Sickle cells contain an abnormal hemoglobin called sickle hemoglobin or hemoglobin S. Hemoglobin S causes the cells to develop the sickle shape it is known for. There is no universal cure for sickle cell disease. Normal blood cells contain hemoglobin A. Hemoglobin S and hemoglobin C are the abnormal hemoglobin in the body. Patients with hemoglobin C trait are phenotypically normal with no clinical evident limitations or sy symptoms, while those with hemoglobin C disease may have a mild degree of hemoglobin anemia, spinomegaly, and borderline anemia. Although the clinical complications of hemoglobin C disease are not severe. Now, what is the root cause for the abnormal hemoglobin? Hemoglobin S is caused when valine has replaced watomic acid, causing the hemoglobin to become less soluble under decreasing oxygen concentrations and to polymerize into crystals that distract the red blood cells into a sickle shape. Hemoglobin C is a structural variant of normal hemoglobin A caused by an amino acid substitution of lysine for glutamic acid at position 6 of the beta hemoglobin chain, mostly like hemoglobin S, the genetics of hemoglobin. The official name of hemoglobin gene is hemoglobin beta, or HBB. The HBB gene provides instructions for making a protein called beta-globin. Beta-globin is the component subunit of a larger protein called hemoglobin, which is located inside red blood cells. Hemoglobin normally consists of four protein subunits. Each of the four protein subunits of hemoglobin carries an iron-containing molecule called heme. Hemi Molecules are necessary for red blood cells to pick up oxygen in the lungs and deliver it to cells throughout the body. A complete hemoglobin protein is capable of carrying four oxygen molecules at a time. Oxygen attached to hemoglobin gives blood its bright red color. Inheritance Sickle cell conditions are inherited from parents in much the same way as blood type, hair color, and texture, eye color, and other physical traits. The types of hemoglobin a person makes in the red blood cells depend upon what hemoglobin genes the person inherits from his or her parents. There are several types of sickle cell disease. The most common are sickle cell anemia, SS, and sickle hemoglobin C disease a person can develop. Treatment. Health maintenance for patients with sickle cell disease starts with early diagnosis, preferably in the newborn period, and includes penicillin, pro prophylax, vaccination against phenomococcus bacteria, children who have sickle cell disease and are under the age of 5 years old are at increased risk of life-threatening pneumococcal infection due to the absence of non-functional spleens and a decreased immune response. To prevent pneumococcal infection, the American Academy of Pen Pediatrics recommends the use of penicillin prophylactics in children with sickle cell disease under the age of 5 and older children who have had previous severe pneumococcal infection or have functional surgical aspirin. The recommendations are based on two landmark studies. The first, evaluation and effectiveness of penicillin prophylactics, and the second, evaluating the duration of prophylactics. 
although the mo the molarity rate and from infection has been reduced following penicillin prophylactics, altered immunologic response and penicillin resistant S pneumonia remain a concern. The chemical formula for penicillin prophylactics is C sixteen H eighteen N two O five S. Now, what can you do to take care of your sickle cell? To take care take care of your health, you should adopt or maintain a healthy lifestyle. Following a healthy diet, a healthy diet includes a variety of vegetables and fruits. It also includes whole grains, fat-free or low-fat dairy products, and protein foods such as lean meats, eggs, poultry, without skin, seafood, nuts, seeds, beans, and peas. A healthy diet is low in sodium, added sugars, solid fats, and refined grains, solid fats or saturated fat, and trans fatty acids. Your doctor may suggest that you take folic acid vitamins every day to help your body make new red blood cells. He or she also may recommend that you drink at least eight glasses of water every day, especially in warm weather. This will help prevent dehydration, a condition in which your body doesn't have enough fluids. Your body needs regular physical activity to stay healthy. However, you should avoid activity that makes you very tired. Drink lots of fluids when you exercise. Talk with your doctor about how much and what kind of physical activity are safe for you. You also should get enough sleep and rest. If you drink alcohol, ask your doctor what a serving size is recommended for you. If you smoke, quit. For people who have sickle cell anemia, just like for everyone else, regular medical care and treatment for health issues are important. Your checkups may include extra tests for possible kidney, lung, and liver disease. See a sickle cell anemia expert regularly. Also see an eye doctor regularly to check for damage to your eyes. And very importantly for sickle cell anemia patients, learn the signs and symptoms of the stroke. These include sudden weakness, paralysis of the body, confusion, trouble speaking or understanding speech, trouble seeing in one or the other eye, problems breathing, dizziness, trouble walking, loss of balance or coronation, and unexpected falls, loss of consciousness, and sudden and severe headaches. Finally, sickle cell anemia is only a disease which you can treat, which means it does not have to slow you down in life. For example, take NFL safety Ryan Clark, who even though struggled his entire life with sickle cell anemia, has found strength and pursued his dream and become an NFL superstar, even though the odds were against him. He made it through, stayed with his treatment, and keeps playing in the NFL. This concludes the sickle cell anemia documentary. Thank you for listening to me. My name is Elder Alcantara, and thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank you.